cared about in your life is nugs, chilling, and grinding. Yeah, A, B, C. I'm in the mood to scale. Does that fly the road up a one by two? Hello, and welcome to Cinematic Apocalypse, and Happy Halloween! For our very first Halloween special, we for some reason chose to watch The Human Centipede. Wait, wait, don't leave yet. I edited out most of the gross shit, just, just trust me. The Human Centipede is brought to us by writer-director Tom Six, who you may know from such other fine films as The Human Centipede 2, and The Human Centipede 3, and, uh, uh, that's about it. Oh wait, how could I forget Gay in Amsterdam, my favorite. The movie features German actor Dieter Laser. Laser may or may not be an actual famous person in Germany, but I sure as hell don't care enough to find out. In the film, Laser plays the maniacal Dr. Heider. Like most German people, Dr. Heider is hell-bent on kidnapping innocents and sewing them together in grotesque ways. None of the other people involved with this movie are worth mentioning, so let's just get started. I'm Chris. I'm Christine. I'm Ben. I'm Betsy. Same. And today is our very first Halloween episode, so we're going to celebrate it by watching a movie about people eating human sh**. Just never get over that one dog, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the one dog that's connected to the other two. Yeah. You know, when your movie opens up with uh, Larry the Cable Guy taking a dump, maybe you ought to rethink it. <laughs> Was that the sound of him taking a shit or getting shot? How exactly would I get there? <gasps> it's Amy! Hello, sweetie. It does look like they're on the phone together. How? No, She's on the phone five minutes before. She was on the phone okay. first and then she got on the phone. I, I think what's more important to take away from this is why the hell do they have two people having it, different phone conversations in the same scene at the same time. Yeah. It's abstract, man. It's really extremely confusing and pointless. Very brilliant screenwriting. I think we're supposed to turn. Turn? Oh, shit. Shit. Is that how you prepare a flat tire? <laughs> shit. I'm no mechanic, but I think if I curse and kick it loud enough. No signal. What? There's no signal. There's always a signal. Not out here in the middle of nowhere. Not in crappy horror movies. Gah. Shit. Do you know how to change a tire? No, I do not know how to change a tire. Do I look like a competent human being? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, um, we need- Don Vito? <laughs> what, 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 the, what the hell are you doing in BAM? Was? Ihr seid doch immer falsch zwischen den Schenkeln. I don't know what he's speaking to. Um. He's like Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force's like German long lost brother. Um, uh, the movie would be much different, I bet, if it was three of him. And so, you know. Yeah, just make a human centipede out of fat guys. <laughs> so now they're out and they're walking around, okay. If I know my horror movies, these girls are gonna be just fine. <laughs> we came from over here, I swear. How but do if you know that? All the trees look the same. No, don't be racist. Every tree is unique in its own way. <laughs> <laughs> you need trees to go find help. Trees are people too. 
Okay, yeah, I know. I'm tired and I'm cold. Stop. I'm not moving. I'm not Stop moving. It. No. Fine. 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 I'm staying right here. Good. We've been walking for like an hour. Let's give up and die. <laughs> <laughs> One guy in the world that's not absolutely thrilled that two soaking wet 20 something year old girls show up at his door. Yeah, you know what's great with some great bangers. You know what's weird is that this is like the exact same way as a lot of horror movies start, but it's also the exact same way as a lot of porno movies start. <laughs> Where can I get myself a conjoined fetus um, painting? We are on a road trip. It's, it's, like it's an original. <laughs> We're from New York. So are you single? <laughs> okay, thanks. Something to drink? Uh, uh, water's fine. Yeah, just... Anyone who accepts a like, drink of anything from this guy is just asking to have their mouth shown onto someone else's anus. <laughs> Hello. Is this Dr. Hitler? <laughs> Dr. H. <laughs> That's subtle. Yeah, you know, this was the uh, pilot episode for Scrubs when it first came out. This is way funnier than Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Scrubs, JD bites off more than he can chew when he volunteers for Dr. Cox's human centipede program. You know, Dr. Cox, I've taken a lot of your crap before, but this is just getting ridiculous. Tune in tonight to catch all the fun. Oh, you're Verdammt nochmal, kannst du nicht aufpassen, du dumme Sau! I'm sorry. No, he was a pageant coach in a former oh. life. He uh, studied under Gordon Ramsay. No, it's okay. <laughs> Donkey! We need to get out of here right now. Okay. Let me just finish get my roofie so we'll get going. Right. Can I have another? I find it. I don't feel this one. <laughs> <laughs> you could just call a, a taxi a service for us. We're just gonna go back to the hotel. No. I don't do another phone call. I don't do Mondays either. Yeah. Can I call? I'm tired. What? What's going on? Look at me. The rape oh drive. God. What? What? Oh, I... My friend's knocked out. Like, you just come out with the sentence rape drug, I'm swinging. Ben, I've roofied you so many fing times. You have no idea. <laughs> Go into the Matrix. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank God these girls are finally quiet. <laughs> what a day. He's tuckered out. It's had a long day of roofing people and sewing things to other things. He's tearing up the lyrics to I Touch Myself by the Vinyls. <laughs> Jenny! <laughs> Lily! Oh my god! Jenny! <laughs> Not since Forrest Gump has a woman named Jenny made so many terrible decisions. Ben. <laughs> you don't match. <laughs> I have to kill you. You could have just let me take the shit in peace, goddammit. Yeah. Like... Don't take it personal. Dr. Hitler's bedside manner is unparalleled. <laughs> The way he looks into your eyes as he kills you yeah. really makes me feel at home. Really? I recommend Dr. Hitler to all my friends. He's the best guy I know in town, I swear. <laughs> he goes from tip to tip. <laughs> He's never gonna get her done again. What a shame.
It was half priced Asian guys down at Walmart. And, you, know, <laughs> you gotta you gotta jump on that way again. I like how the dart's still sticking out of his ass. Right. It's, it's a nice touch. In case we couldn't figure out that he tranquilized him. You get pulled over by the cops. It's like, that's my friend. He just likes to get in the tranquilizer. He's, you know, he he's got a, a little I think little he's got a problem. <laughs> From the upper and lower jaws. The lips from B and C. And the anus of A and B. Are cut circular. Hey, he stole this idea for my third grade science project. Ingestion by A. Passing through B. The excretion of C. A human centipede. You know, for a mad scientist, this guy is awfully goofy. Yeah. Hello, my name is Dr. Hitler, and allow me to welcome you to my evil underground lair. What, what the f*** is this? Today you will be a part of my most diabolical experiment to date. If you would please turn your attention to this highly advanced projected image. Wait, your name's Dr. Hitler? Okay, subject number three, could you zip it, okay? This is what I would like to call the human centipede. Basically, I'm going to sew your lips to the other's butthole. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Subject number three, you just don't get it, do you? This isn't gonna work, you can't survive off heating human- Okay, that does it. Now you're gonna be at the end of the human centipede. I'm out of here. <laughs> you just hear like jazz in his head. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's oh wait, I can easily escape from this. Oh, huh. all it takes is like two bites. Maybe I should have tried to do that several hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. Oh no, she's gonna get eaten by mutated sea bass. Are they ill-tempered? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Just let me and Jenny go. You can keep Asian guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just kill me! <laughs> Just kill me was my reaction 30 minutes into Howard the Duck. <laughs> Ah, shit. The overall's cut off again. Sorry. Scheisse! All I wanted was frickin' sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. <laughs> Where is he? Where he... He's gone for so long, they have this much time. Uh, yes, hi, uh, David Hasselhoff Fan Club, please. Mm, yes, I hold. Wurdest du mich ficken? Ich wurde mich ficken. Ich wurde mich hart ficken. Because just fing running away and calling the police was too easy. Right. 
She wants to save her fucking friend as she should, okay? You fucking heartless bastard. Stop bastards. getting so. You heartless bastard. Butt hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You heartless, you heartless assholes. That, that's the comedy version of this movie. It's just called Butt Hurt. Butt Hurt, yeah. <laughs> that's like like the the um, the Wayans Brothers parody version. <laughs> Betsy, you're gonna be the middle piece. No! <laughs> She's definitely the middle piece. It's like, she is right now. She's changing it. It's like, what sex in the city girl are you? I really think more of myself as a middle. <laughs> I remember my first ICP concert. <laughs> He's getting them ready. He's like, yes! 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 This is finally happening! How much butthole did you eat at that ICP concert? Dude. His nice suit for this occasion. I was just gonna say that's what I do anytime like a plumber comes by my house. I stand there in complete silence, staring at them while wearing his suit. I put on my best suit, <laughs> put on my Sunday best, and I <laughs> glare <laughs> psychotically. <laughs> fucking possible. I also have an erection usually. <laughs> Doesn't they he look like a like? Like a poor man's Christopher Walken. Uh, kind what you of. need to do is it. take your lips and sew it to your asshole. <laughs> That's your problem with this suit? Yes. It's <laughs> don't, you know, don't get the stitches of the I, butt skin on your face agree. off. Wipe the booger. Because I, I know that the rest of it is fake, but the booger feels very the real. It's very real. I bet Asian guy doesn't want to admit it, but he is loving this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, there is no downside to his, honestly. Like, he's just pooping into a hot chick's mouth. Like, what's the downside? Baby. Hey. Eat girl, you don't get some of it. This guy's neighbors just kind of always look the other way. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's two sides to every story. This is just like a big, like, elaborate croquet setup. <laughs> He has a great uh, Labor Day barbecue. <laughs> now you can bite me. Bite my boots. Bite my boots. Bite. Check out these styling things. Oh no. Playboy paid a hefty price for that product placement. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bitte. Reiter, guten Tag, Kriminalpolizei. Was kann ich Ihnen zu trinken anbieten? Kaffee vielleicht. But our... Oh my fucking god! This is a lovely fetus picture you have here, yeah. by the way, good sir. You seem perfectly trustworthy. I'm perfectly willing to I ingest anything you want to hand me. Say, so, hey, Ben, why don't you drink this mysterious fluid? Cool, bro. Thanks, man. Was ist das eigentlich für ein Käfig da? Kommen Sie doch bitte zur Sache.
Ein Zeuge hat auf ihrem Grundstück eine junge Frau schreien hören. Mit amerikanischem Akzent. Wie können Sie... Also, you're insanely creepy and your name is Dr. Hitler! Okay. Sich ein Durchsuchungsbefehl und mein Haus gehört Ihnen. Und was ist das? Das. Insulin. Für meine Diabetes mellitus. I like how they're building tension by making the cops as fucking stupid as humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> World's worst police come to Germany. <laughs> Gleich. Oh, Japanese, I have a bad day. I think I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Uh, That's Dr. Hitler. Come on. Doc. Come on. I didn't go to freaking eight years of evil medical school to be called Mr. All right. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. you. Got him right in the head. Finally, God. That's a shitty situation. <laughs> Clowns on the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am stuck in the middle with you. Uh, I'm gonna go vomit. <laughs> See the romantic part about this movie is... Okay, I think I'm good. That was Human Centipede, huh? That wasn't so bad. Let's review. In the pros column, Goof de Koning does a fine job as director of photography. It's a very simplistic film with a very limited number of locations, but it looks pretty good for what it is. At the time the movie was released, it was a fairly original idea. Merely proposing this movie in the first place is a pretty ballsy move. It's remarkable that it was ever approved and given a budget. There is no obvious humor or comic relief in the film at all, except for one brief moment when the power goes out. Oh, shit. Sorry. Aside from that, the movie seems to take itself very seriously throughout. In my opinion, this was the right choice. Given the absolutely absurd subject matter, I think the serious tone actually helps to keep it interesting. Though not a terribly complex character, Dr. Heider is one creepy motherfucker. Theater Laser's performance really helped to give the movie an unsettling tone. And in the cons column. I mean, it's, it's obviously such a silly idea that it's impossible to take it seriously. The film takes place in Germany, and it was filmed in the Netherlands, so I don't know, maybe it's some sort of freaky Dutch-German comedy that just went over everyone's heads. The movie is clearly made entirely for shock value. Though there's hardly any gore and you never really see any poop or anything like that, your average viewer would probably still find this movie off-putting. The actors who played the two Lost Girls were mediocre at best. 
Thankfully, their mouths are sewn shut by the halfway point, so it doesn't hinder the movie too much. Even the Asian guy's performance was better, despite the fact that he didn't speak English in the film. However, that speech that he made at the end right before he killed himself was one of the most baffling things I've seen in a horror movie. Even if the film had phenomenal acting and masterful cinematography, at the end of the day, it's still a movie about people pooping in each other's mouths. It's a hard film to like and an embarrassing film to admit to liking. As a serious horror movie, we give The Human Centipede a middle-of-the-road C. It has a creepy atmosphere and Dieter Laser gives a menacing performance, but there is no way to get past the laughable premise. For our ironic watchability rating, we give it a slightly higher C+. It features some embarrassingly bad acting and a premise that is so disgusting and stupid that everyone has already heard of it. It's not quite as graphic as you might expect, so it's not terribly painful to get through. But this is definitely a movie made for a very specific audience. People who enjoy body horror films, torture porn, poop fetishes, and or bad movies. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.